finally, after decades of their bravery and campaigning to get this far, to bring the chief procurer, and not just a procurer, mind you, a participant in the assault of children who'd been trafficked, sexual assaults on them, to get this woman finally to justice. It's just it's just a huge congratulations to the victims. That's what I say. Yes, uh, I mean, this is an important uh, point that you've just made there. Uh, it would be serious enough if uh, the allegation was that she was the one touring the playgrounds uh, to procure uh, the children uh, for the beast, Epstein. Uh, but actually, a very significant number uh, of these children allege uh, that Maxwell also had sex with them, therefore also raped them. This is something that doesn't seem to have so far cost her the friendship of many in high society in both the US and the UK. Especially Prince Andrew. Now, Virginia said that there was an orgy on the island and Prince Andrew participated, Maxwell participated. There were underage girls there who'd been procured from Eastern Europe and they were joking that they were the easiest girls to abuse because they didn't speak any English. And for Prince Andrew now to be playing the victim card He's saying that he's not being treated like any normal person would in the U.S. justice system. Prosecutors are leaking information about the case because he's such a big name and they're making headlines off him. Well, yes, Prince Andrew is right in one regard. He's not being treated like anyone else in the world would be treated because anyone else who was a conspirator in the biggest child sex trafficking pyramid scheme in U.S. history would be SWAT team raided, would be stuck in a jail cell right now eating green bologna sandwiches with cockroaches crawling them all over at night and prison gangs trying to stab them to death for being a sex offender.